Here is how I went from growing healthy hair five years ago to experiencing extreme hair loss to my edges and hair growth again. So what I used and how to make it for yourself too. Hi beauties. So over a year ago, March of 2022, I experienced hair loss to my edges and just thinning to all areas of my hair. So I think there are a lot of factors that contributed to my sudden hair loss besides dry hair that led to this excessive breakage. The first one is the rice water treatment, which I did every two weeks or every week when my hair was too dry after protective styles. The second one is aloe vera application. I use fresh aloe vera to just rub on my scalp, on my edges. The third thing is hot oil treatments every week during wash days and before my protective styles. And the fourth is of course to moisturize your hair well during every wash day. And I use the LCO method, which is using liquid, which is water, a cream, and an oil to seal in the moisture. Here is how to make the DIY rice water for yourself. You only need half a cup rice, or even less. Rinse the rice two times, add two cups of water to the rinsed rice and store in a container for 24 hours. Transfer to a spray bottle or container with nozzle and use. At this stage, I do add a few drops of lavender essential oil just to eliminate the pungent scent of the rice water. This is optional and you can just opt not to and use as is. And usually I just section my hair and apply generous amounts to detangle. I put a small label on my rice water and use it for a month. So how often can you use the rice water treatment and who can use this? So once a week is good or when your hair is dry and brittle. It's great for all hair types and textures and especially when your hair is dry and dull. I use it every two weeks and if I use it as a detangler, I let it sit for only three to five minutes. I detangle and shampoo my hair. Take note if you have low porosity hair like me, use this in moderation because it might end up sticking to your hair instead of your hair absorbing it. So if you have low porosity hair, your hair doesn't absorb moisture or products easily. So avoid using it with other protein treatments or creams as to overdo it so these are five benefits of rice water to the hair number one it makes the hair stronger two it increases shine three it can help with hair growth because it contains vitamin c b and e it helps strengthen the hair shaft which enables the hair to grow longer four it reverses high growth fatigue meaning it balances overly moisturized hair and five it detangles hair so it softens the hair strands and makes it easy to detangle and comb through the hair so yeah it has nourishing proteins found in it that reduces breakage and improves hair texture so be aware during that time you're trying these hair growth tips try to notice if there are any changes with your hair when you're using these uh, diys and that's the only way to know if something is working for you or not and also give it some time like about a month to see if there are changes with what you're using i know the rice water really accelerated my hair growth because of how my hair felt after uh, it's used and the aloe vera and hot oil treatments did aid with my hair growth as well as they provided great benefits to my scalp so for one batch of rice water, I use it within the month and I store it in the fridge and I just use when I need it. So I put a label on my rice water bottle with the date I made it so that it doesn't stay more than a month. And um, But if you don't have access to a fridge, you can make small amounts for one use, like one quarter cup or one egg should be good enough for one use. So yeah, you only need a little bit to spray or pour on your scalp and to detangle or for the protein treatment. So the other factors I think contributed to my hair loss that I should mention was stress and poor diet. So if you're also experiencing that, look into other factors as well, like it could be hormonal or your diet. So it could be things like vitamin deficiencies, your water intake, etc. The most important thing also is the hairstyles I did for my protective styling and during that time I did cornrows regularly without resting my hair for a bit 
so i know that also played a huge part with it with my hair loss and thinning as it seemed i had traction alopecia or with the fact that i neglected proper hair care i didn't know it was gonna happen to me as my hair was growing long already during then so i had to improve and address these things with taking better care of my hair as well together with those so better hair care like deep conditioning often using hot oil treatments protein treatments like rice water when needed um, natural hair fall remedies and diys like rosemary hair spray to help with hair fall and hair growth i have a video on that that i will link at the end of this video so that you can check that out and make it for yourself too or green tea hair washes or you can use aloe vera those are what i used and continue to use so i'm sharing those as well and of course moisturizing your hair well during wash days is very important um, because it helps protect your hair from breakage and in the long run healthy hair growth when your hair is in protective styles i recently cut my hair short and i'm enjoying my healthy hair i'm using all that i've shared to grow my hair out most importantly healthy and of course for length I have videos on rosemary DIY, hot oil treatments, horsey hair care tips, and I hope I've inspired you in your natural hair care and growth journey.